Don't use the saw in the way I've shown it here. Follow all the safety and usage instructions that come with your own saw. Hi, it's bloody cold outside today. Um, my viewers around the world probably have different ideas. I mean, it's only close to freezing here and I'm sure other people get it much colder than that. But uh, for me, it's, it is very cold. And it doesn't help the arthritis either. Um, today, I'm gonna be trying out uh, a chainsaw, a little mini chainsaw from Haichika and uh, to see whether that is a suitable alternative to a little bow saw for chopping up uh, small bits of wood around the place. So let's see how we get on. So I'm starting with this ash pole which was cut about three weeks ago. Um, I'm hoping to get a bit of usable material out of the, the straighter part of it but this end can come off and that can be cut up for firewood. So I'm going to try both with the little chainsaw and also with the bow saw get an idea of how they compare with each other. So let's give it a go. I haven't got it on the best support but uh, anyway. So that was pretty quick. So quicker, and uh, it's not got me puffing, but then again, it wouldn't keep me warm on a cold day. The other thing I wanna try, down here on the floor, I've got piece of holly and I'm hoping to use that in a project uh, later in the year but uh, you see the center of the tree is here and uh, I think this is going to crack quite a bit so I'm going to put a couple of relief cuts along the sides here and just keep my fingers crossed now, there's no way I could do that with that little bow saw See how this one works out. So, not bad, not bad at all. I'll let you know how it gets on later in the year. I think where it's really gonna come in handy is in the garden where you get situations like this, I wanna take some of this stump out. I can't get to it with this saw whilst leaving that branch intact. In addition to all the cuts that I make in this video, um, I went on to cut a further 20 um, cuts through 3 to 5 inch of ash and uh, the battery didn't show any signs of, uh, of slowing down. But I did get through two tanks worth of uh, chain oil. So I make short work of little jobs around the garden like that. Now I purchased this direct from Amazon, so I think there's far less chance of it being other than the machine you would get if you bought one yourself. Having said that, it was quite expensive and I think you should uh, have a good look around and see what else you can find. But it's a nice little machine. Now, Haichika have reimbursed me for the cost of this saw, so make of that what you will. Don't use the saw in the way I've shown it here. 
follow all the safety and usage instructions that come with your own saw.